Now we are almost done. We have selected intervals and we have modeled each and every interval. And what we can do now is that we can look up each chemical in the NIST database and identify or find the closest match and create a peak table. And in order to do that, we need to find back to our window here. And there is a button called uh, Make Report. So I will simply push this button and it will generate a report. Now when you push the button, not much is happening at first, but you have to be patient. It can take uh, several minutes. So we're just going to wait a little while here. And here we are. So after three to four minutes, we actually have a report made as this little window is telling us. So I will press OK. So once the report has been generated, we can go to the project folder and find the report Excel file. And let me open this one. Now there are two tabs. One contains the hits and the other one here contains the relative concentrations. So let me show you. What we basically have is that we have each and every experiment and then we have each and every identified peak with the NIST identification. And here we have the relative concentrations. So we have a complete identification as well as quantification of a few hundred samples and a few hundred chemicals with two hours of work. Let me zoom out again. And here we are. Yeah. So let me just explain you what information we have in the results Excel file. The first row is a retention time in minutes. So that's the retention time we calculated uh, after we resolved each peak. And this corresponds to the uh, mean retention time of the deconvoluted peaks using uh, Parafac 2 within Paradise. And this represents, you can see it, it's in an increasing order they are sorted. And the second row is actually something called Ka, so that corresponds to the cobalt index. And in our case here, we don't have cobalt index because we didn't specify uh, while we uh, made the report. But this you can easily make it. Simply, if you go back to the uh, Parafac2 uh, uh, modeling uh, window, and here you will see Ka index. And that one you need to press before you press uh, make report button. And if you press it, you will see a separate window here. And here you need to insert your information. So you need to press the load specifications here. And then you should load an Excel file. You need to load, for example, this kind of Excel file. Yes, and uh, and then you will see. Let me let me open it. Yeah, so you will see that uh, in the first column you have to put the number of carbon atoms of your alkane mixture, and here you need to put the retention times in minute. But here this is just an artificial that just for presentation purposes we are showing you here. So once you have done that one, you can then you just say okay. And then in your report Excel file, you would have retention indices calculated automatically. And this is an identification, the third column. Here you get the only the first, uh, only the top hit from the NIST. So we all know that in metabolomics, identification is not always the case that the first hit from the NIST is the right component. But this is your own responsibility to make sure that you have uh, you have validate your all identification here you have only two rows so meaning that for each an individual chemical substances that you deconvoluted you have only top two hits 
but this you can change before you make a report and that you can do you go back to your own uh, NIST and you go to the options go to the library search options and you go to automation and here because in our NIST our setting was two we got only top two hits from the NIST but this you can do you can change it and you can make 20 or 10 and then uh, and then decide uh, which one of the 20 hits is your right component and you can see if I just press the uh, first hit of the first component you have this information saying what is its name so it's a benzaldehyde two four three trimethylsilyl and it's a chemical formula it's a molecular mass and all the other information that you could extract from a NIST library and with that, I think we are done with uh, sort of the basic use of Paradise. We hope uh, you found it useful. Thank you very much.